There really are so many recipes that you can make with zucchini. Today I'm going to show you a super simple one that has a lemon regatta and parmigiano reggiano stuffing. First thing we're going to do is cut the zucchini in half. And we want to be able to stuff them, so we need to remove the whole inside of the zucchini. The easiest way to remove it is with a pretty decent heavy metal spoon, and you can keep your hand underneath it and kind of by cradling it, and you can remove all the pulp and the seeds from the zucchini fairly easily. You wanna leave about a quarter inch surrounding the zucchini and you'll have a nice cavity like that. That makes it super simple to stuff. All right, so there they all are. Let's just put them off to the side for a second and grab our garlic. Take a couple cloves of garlic and, you know, this might be dictated by personal preference how garlicky you want it, but about two or three cloves will be good. And take back your knife, hit it, and then you'll be able to remove the skin very easily, like that. And then you're going to slice it. And then you can take those slice pieces and then you can cut them up more into a mince. If you want to use a garlic press, you could use that too at this time. But you want to cut up the garlic fairly small. We're going to arrange all the zucchini boats both side up, and I'm going to put a fairly decent amount of salt on them right now to put them in the oven. You could drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top too. So we're going to cook them in the oven for about 20 minutes on about 375 to 400, just until they get soft. While they're cooking, let's grate up the Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. And I'm going to grate up about a half a cup to three quarter cup. This doesn't have to be critical here. You could grate up more right now. You're going to need more to finish at the end. So, you know, grate up more or just, or just save your block on the side. Parsley, about a half a cup here. If you don't like parsley, don't use it. Maybe you want to use basil instead, but I really like the freshness that parsley adds to the dish. So I'm going to mince it pretty fine and put it right off to the side too. Get your heat low to medium low basically low, and put in about a quarter cup of olive oil. I'm using extra virgin here, but regular olive oil would be totally fine too, and very appropriate. Put that minced garlic in there, and we're gonna bring out the flavor of the garlic into the oil. By cooking the garlic in the oil, we're gonna mellow it a little bit right here, and we're also gonna distribute the garlic flavor into the oil. If we don't put the garlic in the oil, and we just put it straight into the regatta, it will tend to be a little too strong. So there's our zucchini cooking in the oven. So the garlic only took about two or three minutes on very low heat. I'm just going to put it off to the side now and going to remove that burner. Big glass bowl. And that's Regatta Palio brand. It's the brand I use. It's, it's the brand that's mostly available in the Northeast. But you might have a different brand and use whatever brand you like. I'm going to put in about one pound of the polio. This is a two pound container, about, a cup, about two cups, and a half a cup of breadcrumbs. It's going to give a little bit of texture to this stuffing here. I have one lemon, cut that in half. It's a juicy lemon. I'm going to squeeze it in there. You can use one lemon. You can use two lemons. I'm going to start with one lemon. And I'm squeezing it with my hand underneath so I can grab those seeds. But I wasn't completely successful, so I grabbed a spoon and just picking the seeds out. You definitely don't want seeds in here or pits when you're doing your stuffing because you don't want your guests to get a bite of that. So there's that cheese. Half a cup Parmigiano Reggiano. Put that right in there with the regatta and the lemon and the breadcrumbs. About a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. You could also use hot red pepper flakes if you like. Adding all that parsley in there, that fresh parsley is really good with the regatta. And then here's our garlic oil. I really like this in here. I think it gives the stuffed zucchini kind of like a punch with the garlic. All right, so we're going to mix all this up. You could also use lemon zest in here if you want. That would be great too. It might actually be even better than using all the lemon juice. So I mixed it all around. I'm going to taste it. I want to make sure that this stuffing is really, really good before we put it into the zucchini. And it's okay, but you know what? It needs a little bit more lemon flavor. So I'm taking that lemon that I already cut and I'm trying to get any remaining juice out of it. 
and there's not so much left. So I cut up another lemon and squeeze in the juice of a whole nother half in there. Get it to the lemon f amount of lemon that you like in there. Don't don't go overboard if you don't like it. You know, use use what you want. So mix that up one more time and then give it another taste. And it tastes has the right amount of lemon, but it needs a little bit more salt. So I'm gonna add that kosher salt in. Probably about a half a teaspoon here. I just I want this to be perfect before I put it in the zucchini because I'm not really gonna have a chance to season after the stuffing is in there. And once I'm like really, really satisfied with it, then you know then then we're good to go. So here's our zucchini. They're very soft and pliable now and they're very hot. So we don't want to stuff it right away when they're when they're piping hot like this. Yeah, so I'm just saying just just wait a second. And once they cool enough, then you can get the stuffing in there. And I'm spooning a couple, a couple tablespoons into each, maybe maybe a quarter cup. And I'm trying to evenly distribute it. If you don't have enough stuffing here, you can add just just add some more of your regatta. That's all you have to do. You don't have to match all the other ingredients, but just add a little bit more regatta. It worked out for me, perfect. Where you know, just just worked out. So. I'm just going to spread that, all that stuffing in with a spatula I'm using, like a silicone spatula, but you could use a wooden spoon, a metal spoon. It tends to work well with the silicone spatula because it doesn't stick to it. And I'm going to turn my broiler to the low setting. You could also use the high setting, but to keep it at the low setting and on the medium rack tends to work well. I'm going to sprinkle some breadcrumbs on top. I think the breadcrumbs give a nice texture to it. I'm going to add more Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, which also provides another texture and a flavor level. And just a drizzle of olive oil. And I'm just putting regular olive oil, and I just cut the remaining half of that lemon, the slices, and I put them on the sheet because, you know what? It just looks okay. It makes it look better. We're going to get them in the broiler for about five to seven minutes. It's not going to take long to cook at all. And we want to watch this while we're cooking it. We don't want to mess around. But look at that. Nice toastiness. Perfect color on that stuffed lemon regatta stuffed zucchini. And I think about two of them is a good serving. Maybe a little bit of lemon with it. A couple wedges of lemon would be perfect. Tear off some parsley or some basil for garnish. I think that looks nice. Or you could just serve all these up on a big platter. Or just leave it on the tray and serve it to your family. I mean, they're not going to care, right? I mean, you know, I'm doing this more for the video, <laughs> you know? But I think, it, I think it looks really good that way. Whatever really good extra virgin olive oil you have, now's the time to put it on top. Just a nice drizzle of that. And then grab that block of Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese again and just... Get it all, get it all over it. I suggest serving this like as an appetizer, not not as a main course, but it could be a light main course too. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time.